In today's world, being different is the new normal. And that's exactly what one Emirati entrepreneur aimed to do when he launched his idea of a coffee shop with a difference. Café to Go is a fast-growing chain that, at first glance, their menu looks like any ordinary coffee shop menu. But after a closer look, instead of offering cappuccinos or lattes, they offer camel chinos and camel lattes. Popular coffee items made from camel milk, as well as other eatables like fajitas and mortadella sandwiches, amongst other things all made from camel meat. The idea starts when it's, it's a part of challenge. Uh, what's new? In the, in the cafe industry. When we did the bench market and looking around us here and there, we didn't find anybody come up with something new. Since we are creating a brand from United Arab Emirates and as a part of Arabian, we said, I think the camel product, um, it is good, it would be a good idea to come up with. It is a part of not only in Emirates traditional or culture, it is a part of Arabian and the Bedouin. Uh, if you go back to 50 years, 100 years, 200 years, the Bedouins and the Arabs, they used to drink a camel milk a lot, eating a camel meat. To come to the, this centuries now, the young centuries and new people, they don't want to try it because they never try it. So what we're trying to do here, we're trying to promote it in the new lifestyle uh, cuisine. So we said, okay, we'll bring the camel milk, I'm not going to offer it as a traditional camel milk. I'm going to offer it in the camel chinos, in the camel latte. Um, even when it come to the meats, we said, we're going to promote it in salami, mortadilla, uh, hot dog, um, steak. That's the way we're trying to create it. A health and lifestyle survey at the UAE University found that camel's milk is lower in fat and lactose and higher in potassium, iron and vitamin C when compared to cow's milk. Clinical analysis has shown that camel's milk is 40% lower in cholesterol than cow's milk. Café de Go aims at providing a healthier option to consumers using traditional methods with a modern take. If you compare camel milk and cow milk, uh, the cow milk it has a little bit 20% of iron, but the camel milk is have 10 times or 100% more than the cow milk from the iron point of view. Uh, from the vitamin C, that camel milk ha uh, has 10 times more than cow milk on the vitamin C. It has low fat. When you come to the meat, the camel meat, it, again, it has it contains a lot of protein uh, and also it contains very low cholesterol and fat. So it's a healthier, uh, especially for the old people, which is, has the problem in their heart. However, although camel milk and meat products may be a healthier option, the biggest challenge for Cafe to Go has been breaking the psychological barrier of consumers to take the step and try out something new. In the beginning, it was a challenge for us uh, that the people, the, they might like it or don't like it. But when we start to offer to the people and tell them, come and try it, and you never find a difference. Is exactly the same cappuccino that you used to drink it for 20 years. But this is more healthier. Uh, it was a challenge a little bit to convince the local and the foreigner people. But today I can say Alhamdulillah, thanks to God. There's a, like a 10% every month increasing uh, from our visitor point of view. Launched in 2011, Café de Go has already seen tremendous growth and has opened franchises across the Middle East region. And in order to keep up with its flexible nature in its name and concept of a coffee to go, Jossam also believes in a flexible business model. We give a franchise for Libya, for Qatar, uh, in discussion with Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Jordan. Uh, it's done a pipeline. The means of coffee to go, it is easy, flexible, uh, in the term of giving a franchise. Because beside this, we want to be a little bit flexible in offering a franchise. Uh, in terms of our concept is going to be like take and go. Uh, it is flexible in the size, flexible in the investment. So the concept of Cafe to go to be flexible in terms of business model and also to be unique on their products. In the past few decades, Dubai has seen tremendous growth and development which has resulted in a certain modernization and change in terms of culture. 
This has also caused a certain deterioration in health in terms of expats and locals due to poor eating choices as fast food chains become a popular and convenient choice. But it's cafes like this that are trying to make a difference by introducing healthy and traditional products with a twist to keep up with the times.